Well, we've been talking all week about how the heavy rains are impacting everything from the roads to the bug population, <laughs> but it's also affecting farmers. Yeah, it really is. A local dairy farmer in Botetourt County and a Roanoke cherry farmer telling us that the weather is causing them some serious trouble. 10 News reporter Patricia Martellotti took a trip to both farms to get a look at the damage. These cows are getting hungry. They were worried that we're going to run out of feed and we're going to have to sell some cows in order to make do. Because our biggest concern right now is just having the feed to feed them. Courtney Henderson of Cave Hill Dairy Farm says since the farm was short on hay and corn last year, they were hoping to be able to make up for the loss this year. But due to this week's heavy rain, they are unable to get into the fields to plant corn or harvest hay. We can't get in the fields to make it. We can't get it cured out and dried so it makes a good dry hay for the cattle. Courtney says the wet environment is also causing bacteria to grow, so more cows are coming down with digestive infections. Not getting the dry feed that they need in order for their stomachs to actually function properly. So they're coming down with different diseases. We've had vets in here having to do surgeries on a couple cows. As far as the cows are concerned, some food is better than no food. Since workers aren't able to get into the field, they're having to pull this haystack from last year's crop. Ballpark idea, it'll probably hit us about 5% uh, more of our income will have to go towards the cattle feed. Sheldon Jamison of Jamison's Orchard says some of this season's cherries have been damaged. Probably a third of the cherries were affected because of the rain splitting them open and causing rot problems. As far as farmers who produce corn and hay, Courtney says they're all in the same boat. It would not surprise me if you see there an increase in beef prices. My biggest hope is, is that we can actually get into the fields as soon as this rain calms down a little bit. My hope is the sun will start shining. In Roanoke, Patricia Martellotti, 10 News, working for you.